Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This morning I wanted to talk about a new brand of makeup I have bought and have been trying. It's called Trini London and it's a range certainly promoted by and said to be designed by uh, Trini Woodall who was kind of London it girl I suppose in the 1980s. Uh, she's my age so 50s now um, and I, to be honest, found out about this range because of kind of targeted ads on Facebook. And I'm usually very sceptical about trying those, although I am sometimes tempted. Um, but uh, I was tempted. I bought a couple of the products and since then I've bought a couple more. So I thought I'd show you. I know that it this range is available I'm not going to say worldwide, certainly in the United States, because I know quite a few of you who watch this are there. Um, and you can order online and the items are shipped certainly to North America um, and I think other parts of the world as well. Um, it's the same thing in London, uh, in England. You can um, buy mail order, which is what I did, although there are quite a few outlets in London that um, now sell and you can go and investigate in person. I think there might be one in Newcastle as well. And the details are on the website. But um, what this is, is basically a system for busy women. So, you know, we've all seen these been very popular for decades, really. Um, kind of compact makeup um, collections designed to be used on the go and this is another of these um, but it's quite an effective one so basically there are only I think this one product which is uh, the BFF cream I suppose I was expecting more of a um, beauty balm type um, cream when I bought this and uh, you'll see I've got two because I thought I might have got the wrong um, shade for me because I bought online. I mean, let's show you. So it's just a, a standard tube. There's, um, it's called the Skin Perfector. I bought initially the lightest shade, which is light. It's an SPF 30. And this is what you're supposed to put on as the base of your makeup. Um, but it's recommended that it can be used instead of foundation. There is a foundation product. Now you'll see when it comes out of the tube, which is not what I was expecting, it's absolutely white and um, it blends in very nicely and gives a slight sheen glow. Um, it reminded me quite a lot of the Becca Shimmering Perfectors which are not meant to be used, I don't think, as an all-over um, base. Uh, you can use them that way, and they have uh, kind of developed the product now more to be used that way. But certainly when I initially bought, I felt I um, was kind of experimenting when I used them that way rather than as discrete highlighters. Anyway, um, that was light, and I thought, well, actually, it's completely transparent. Maybe I should have got a, a darker one, so I went for the next one up which is light medium but you'll see um it looks exactly the same uh, now i don't know if these are supposed to m meld to your skin and change color in any way but i haven't detected that so i don't know what that's about there are at least three shades that are supposed to be darker than this obviously i haven't tried those but I'd be interested if they're all exactly the same as well. Um, so that's the first product. It's a perfectly nice product. I think you still need a moisturiser underneath. It's not sufficiently moisturising to be the only product you would or I would use on my um, face under a makeup. Um, it does give a nice glow. I personally wouldn't wear it on its own other than round the house because I feel I need a bit more coverage. Uh, a lot of the ladies on the ads, and this is one of the attractive things, she uses real people, um, do say they use it that way. 
the other thing I should say about this product is that while it's coming in the tube and that's how I've left it and I don't mind sticking tube in my handbag they do supply you with one of these little pots for you to squeeze out some to take on the go with you which is quite useful now these this is the the, the system as it were these little uh, interlocking pots that just meld together quite easily so you can choose what you take in your little stack and you can either leave it like that at home or um, use the packet that they give you uh, or your own makeup bag. Uh, what I've got here, I will unpack from bottom to top. So this product is the eye concealer um, product. It's called II, I think, or no, BFFI. Um, there are a number of different shades. I chose one called Izzy. I should say that the online choosing your shade um, selector is very good in my opinion. You see lots and lots of photographs of women uh, with makeup looks so you can check out those who have the similar skin tone to you and then uh, look at the makeup um, products that they've bought. Now this product to me is the best of the range. It is a very, very good under eye concealer. Um, the color probably isn't 100% true here with my lighting on holiday. Uh, my, I chose Izzy, which has a slight yellowish undertone. Now you can see the product is quite liquid um, and the downside is it's definitely messing up the pot. Um, and I have to keep the, the top bit on. Um, you can see it completely gunged up. It's got a lot of elasticity in it, very moisturising. It blends beautifully, and I'm not obviously showing it on um, my under eye circles, but it works very well. I think you could use it elsewhere on the face, and I have done that when I've taken a little bit too much because a little of this product goes a very very long way it's very well pigmented um, you can use it as a concealer in other parts of the face um, I have a number of favorite under eye products um, but this is definitely joining the band it's a very very good under eye concealer in my opinion obviously it depends on you getting the shade that you like then there's a product which is designed to um, fill in for foundation as it were called just a touch and the concept here is that after you've used the BFF cream you just need to apply this to the areas that you feel need a bit more coverage rather than your whole face now I need coverage around my chin where I've got um, obvious pores and around my nose the t-zone basically and a little bit on the cheeks where I've got a bit of redness um, this is a very stiff cream product um, so it does work well with the heat of your skin I think it's a tad drying it definitely does the job of um, concealing what I want to conceal um, the product it is most like is probably the Tom Ford foundation sticks but his formula is a lot better than this. It's more emollient. Um, so it's less, feels less dry on the skin and it's less sitting in the pores. This one sits a tiny bit in my pores. So it's not a bad product. Um, it, it looks good-ish, um, but it's not the best of its type, in my opinion. Um, I will say that obviously this would come in well, in one sense, a lot cheaper than the Tom Ford product um, in that these pots are all around the kind of 22 to 24 mark each. So not cheap, but not in the Tom Ford range. But of course, you're only getting a tiny bit of product. Enough for me, but um, less than some people would like. Then the next thing I bought is one of the blush products. Um, this is called Flush Blush. And uh, it's a cream blush. I bought it in the shade Wigs. Um, again, it's an okay cream blush. It's a bit dry for my taste. So I would, it gives a very pretty natural blush if you kind of dab it on like that. It's a little more difficult to blend than the better cream brush blushes. God, I can't say my words today. 
Um, because of its dryness, again, uh, I think the consistency, again, of the Tom Ford cream blushes is better. Um, but it's not bad. Uh, it certainly gives a good look. Really messed up my pot there, didn't I, with my um, eye. Then the highlighter product, I've got, it's called the Right Light, and I've got Starlight. Again, it's a cream. This one feels a bit um, looser, more emollient than the um, foundation and the blush product. But again, you have to kind of tap it on. I don't think you can see there, but it does give a glow. Um, I personally prefer powder highlighters. I just find them easier to work with. Um, but if you like cream highlighters, it's okay. I've bought two of the eye creams. Um, this one is called Moon, and it's very um, basic silvery taupe. Um, easy to work with, easy to blend, very pretty, um, nothing dramatic, but you're working with all these products with your fingers. Um, this is fine. It creases a little bit at the end of a 12-hour day, but um, not bad. These are decent eye creams. Are they as nice as what you would get from Tom Ford and Chanel? Um, they're different. Again, I think the Tom Ford creams are a bit thinner now, actually, than the consistency of this one. Um, and obviously, the finish of the Chanel ones tends to be shimmery, um, which this one isn't so much. So um, these are nice uh, daily eye products. Uh, this one is a good one to get, I think. Uh, it's called Justice. Th these products are called Eye Eye, by the way. Uh, this one is a completely flesh-toned one. So you're basically just um, ironing out the imperfections on your eyes give, and gives yourself gives you a really kind of wide awake look so it really is a great one for a natural face look uh, I do like that one and then I've got one of the lip glosses um, this is called Cordy they're called Lip Glow I'm not a fan of lip glosses as you know um, I don't really like the sticky texture I do actually quite like this one um, as lip glosses go because I often find them ironically both sticky and drying this is quite a moisturizing lip product it's got a very pleasant watermelon taste it does give a decent bit of pigment and it's not too sticky um, so actually um, quite a plus for me so I do think this is an interesting range. Um, none of the products are substandard. Indeed, they shouldn't be for the price because you're not getting a lot of product for your money. Um, so in that sense, they're expensive. Um, the design is excellent. Um, I do think, you know, this is a really good idea for women on the go. Uh, it's not messy. It all fits together. You've got a complete system you can buy as little or as much as you want. Um, if I'm brutally honest, I think the BFF cream is the one I would do without. I think just wear your ordinary moisturiser, ladies, um, or your ordinary primer and um, buy into some of the little pots, which are quite useful. And you can put together, you can put together a more dramatic uh, look. She does have more dramatic colours, but I think this is the kind of range that you're going to want to um, buy into for your everyday um, face on the go as it were so it's a cautious thumbs up from me I am enjoying using it I am using it it's the only thing that I've brought uh, away with me and away for a week now um, apart from a mascara um, because that's going to be missing and some women um, would like a, an eyeliner as well but you can easily stick a mascara and uh, an eye pencil in your bag along with these and uh, um, you might like a face powder as well I, I don't use those now so um, an interesting range uh, let me know if anyone else there out there has bought into this um, but until next time bye for now